Yo, what's up? You're finally here. Without you, our ghost hunting squad would be nothing. Hey, I'm a reliable squad member too. Sure, when you're not passed out in fear. <laughs> Cut it out. If you keep teasing me, I... I... I'm not gonna perform my boulder smashing trick for you anymore. <sighs> the official name is the Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Helio by Containment Breach Incident. That was the name given to us by decree of the Ten Lords. Since we managed to survive the Fixtral Garden incident, the Ten Lords decided to entrust us with hunting down and subduing the Helio by using our special skills. That's right. This expedition was commissioned by the Ten Lords themselves. I am unsure as to why they attached so much importance to this endeavor. But I have a theory. Hua is a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and I'm a Cloud Knight. We must answer the call to the best of our abilities. And this one here is an Outworlder who's done great things for the sake of the Sienjo. But why did little Kuei have to get dragged into this? This mission is too dangerous for a civilian. Ugh, I get it. You don't think I have any special skills, so I'll just get in the way? Every flower and tree on the Xianzhou is significant in its own way. Miss Gui has her own strengths, too. As a famous street performer and live streamer, she has precisely the skills we need to acquire intel for our mission. Miss Gui has set up a social media account under the guise of investigating paranormal phenomena and unexplained mysteries. We can use it to gather intel for our mission. You hear that, Su Zhang? I'm a key member of the squad! They said I could be a Ten Lords Commission Intelligence Hawk! Uh, I might not be a scholar, but I don't think calling someone a hawk is a compliment. The Ten Lords Commission has specially entrusted Judge Huo Huo with commanding the Ghost Hunting Squad, so please make sure to follow her lead in all matters related to the Helio Bai. Uh, that's right! I won't let us down! <laughs> Captain Hohua, should we start the ghost hunt now? Uh, Captain? You can just call me Hohua. Oh, I'm really surprised that Madam Hanya asked me to be the leader of the ghost hunting squad. After Tail disappeared, I thought for sure the Commission would ask me to resign, but for some reason... Anyway, I'll do my best to carry out my duties! As for our mission, Cirrus was locked up in Fictional Garden, but there are a lot of other Heliobi that escaped after the Creation Furnace was broken. According to the Ten Lords Commission understanding of Heliobi behavior, they tend to roam densely populated areas in search of hosts. And wherever they go, there are bound to be reports of supernatural phenomena. Little Gwei, can you show us the website we'll be using for intel? So I only have a few followers on this site. But, based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes, a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all kinds of nonsense to attract attention. So, we still
still have to go out and fact check the leads? Hmm? Plus, the spirit bearers from the Ten Lords Commission will be carrying out their own investigation in secret as well. Speaking of attracting attention, how do we get a following on a paranormal activity website? Sounds like Little Way's department. She used me and some of her performances just to draw a bigger crowd. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the easy part. We just post some videos of us ghost hunting, er, uh, I mean, subduing Heliobi. We're working for the Ten Lords Commission after all. We're gonna have the best content out there. Madame Hanya has already given us the green light. We'll record our Heliobi hunting expeditions to get more followers, and then use the intel from our followers to find more Heliobi. It's like a vicious cycle. W wait, a virtuous cycle. Wait, aren't we supposed to be operating in secret? Well, another thing we have to think about is that Heliobi feed on the emotions of their hosts. They can even manipulate a host into revealing their deepest secrets. Wouldn't posting a victim's personal information online uh, uh, cause even more harm to the victim? Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to pick holes, just raising some concerns. The way I see it, operating in secret and exposing the paranormal go hand in hand. We won't reveal the names of any victims. We'll just post some pics and videos of the squad engaging in fierce battles with the supernatural. And then come up with some dramatic titles. Like, Little Grey Investigates. Ghost tries to scare young Cloud Knight girl on Creepy Road. Gets owned. You know? We'll turn the entire Heliobi hunting process into regular uploads. Viewers will see that there's nothing scary about it, and there won't be any public panic. Why are you looking at me? Want a medal or something? It does kind of sound like a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, bestie. Mm, I feel like some of you aren't convinced by the whole online ghost hunting thing. How about this? We take a look at the leads we have so far, and pick one to try out as a test run. Take a look. This post is getting tons of comments. Lady Bailu disappeared? That's nothing new. She sneaks off all the time. That's not the point. Here, read this part. One of the healers from the Alchemy Commission had Lady Bailu cornered. But then she disappeared into thin air. Judging from the comments, there were several witnesses. Sure, Lady Bailu runs away all the time. But disappearing into thin air? Hmm, it looks like the work of a Heliobus. The Heliobi are masters of manipulating the senses. There are stories of Heliobi changing their shape and appearance to disguise themselves as someone else. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get moving and see if we can find some witnesses. Before we head out, let's make sure we have our intel in order. If we can better understand what a Heliobus wants to do, and what it's capable of doing, it'll be easier for us to help the victim. Interviewing witnesses might give us some clues, but they won't know anything about Heliobi. I, uh, I think I have an idea. We have another source of intel we could use. That's right! Those Heliobi were locked up in the same space for ages! They probably got to know their fellow prisoners like the back of their... Uh, <laughs> I guess they don't really have hands. The thought of seeing Cirrus sends shivers down my spine. But, uh, I bet Cirrus would be eager to see me again. <laughs> They'd devour me whole if they could. I think Tail 
made a fool of Cirrus, and Cirrus has held a grudge ever since. If we can get them worked up over it, we might be able to use them to our advantage! See, ghastly gravy. Ghastly gravy? What kind of website is that? Ugh, it's ghostly grove. Not ghastly gravy. Ghostly grove is the most renowned website for paranormal enthusiasts in the Lafu. Everyone who loves the mysterious and the unexplained knows about it. I used to go there to read first-hand accounts of ghost sightings whenever I needed to build up my courage. We can get our leads from this website and then investigate them posing as paranormal investigators. That means we can operate more efficiently and with a low profile. Well, if people started to see a spirit fair making door-to-door -door visits, they might begin to panic, and that would give the Heliobi even more power over their hosts. Look, I'm a new user, so I only have a few followers on this site. But, based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes, a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all s mm -hmm. oh, this tedium. Even the insects can't hold my attention any longer. I wonder if these ones will prove to be more entertaining. Cirrus, we've come to ask you a few questions. I hope you'll be cooperative. <laughs> oh, if it isn't the little girl who fainted in Fixtual Garden the moment she encountered the Heliobi. Already talking to me like a detective, are you? Hey! Where's my sword? You just wait! <sighs> okay, okay... I just wish I could teach them a lesson! Cirrus, you must be unhappy with how things turned out, right? What do you want from me, little fox girl? You want to know what happened to the guard dog? He turned to ashes a long time ago. I... I don't care about that at all. But I can't help but notice, you managed to escape the furnace, and now you're stuck here, unable to move an inch while the other Heliobi are roaming around the Lafu enjoying themselves. Ooh, must be quite frustrating. <laughs> you want me to assist you and betray my own kind? Huh. I can do that. Under one condition. I wish to arrange a challenge. One akin to the struggle between the great Heliobus Ignamar and the General of the Lafu. As long as you can bring me the current General, anything can be negotiated. Uh, the General? What? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> it seems the judge here doesn't have what it takes. To negotiate with a Heliobus. That's just another way of saying they don't want to cooperate. Huh? Wait! Wawa! You can't seriously be thinking about... Deal! I'll submit a request to the Seat of Divine Foresight! Oh? 
What do we have here? A nameless, a cloud knight, a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and a street performer. <laughs> Quite the group. Wow, the general recognizes me? I didn't realize I was so famous. <laughs> My retainer Yang Ching has mentioned you. You are one of the only people on the Law Fu that was able to deprive him of his sword. Oh! Oh, I remember. I should apologize. I did a sword swallowing performance on the spur of the moment, but forgot to return the sword to him when I left the stage. So, what wind has brought you to the seat of divine foresight? General, we know you have important matters to attend to, and the Ten Lords Commission shouldn't be bothering you with something as trivial as the Heliobi. But if we allow those creatures to roam freely, I'm afraid... Hmm. I heard stories of a skirmish between a previous general and a monster of sorts. I'd always assumed they were an old wives' tale. I never imagined the villain of such tales would come to my doorstep seeking revenge. <sighs> I must say, it seems a bit unfair that I should assume the debt for a conflict I had no involvement in. Precisely. In principle, the instigator should bear the burden. <sighs> Still. <sighs> General Tung Xiao is a venerated predecessor. If I am to honor his legacy, then sitting idly by is not an option. If an audience with the General of the Law Fu is requested, then I will honor such a request. General, Heliobi are vile creatures capable of taking over the bodies of mortals. If you're unsure... I appreciate the Ten Lords Commission having such high regard for my welfare. And it's true I am rather inexperienced when it comes to Heliobi. But as General of the Law Fu, I cannot look on while these fugitive creatures wreak havoc on the populace. <sighs> I still have some paperwork that needs attending to. Once I am finished, I will make my way to Fixtral Garden without delay. I've never seen this one before. Human, who are you? Heliobus, is it not your deepest wish to hold a rematch with the General of the Law Fu? I have come to grant you an audience. Sirius, we have brought you the person you wish to see. This is General Qing Yuan, the one who now sits at the seat of Divine Foresight. Oh, this is the current General of the La Fu? Look at that expression! He's barely half awake! Where is General Tung Xiao? Why did he choose such a lightweight to take over for him? Uh, I suppose it's already too late for the Sien to rid themselves of this clown. Very well then, General Jing Yuan. How about we settle our score right here in Fixtral Garden? If I win... I must be free to come and go as I please. I agreed to grant you an audience, not meet you in combat. Huh? What? You refuse? You won't fight me? He comes here after I demand a rematch and won't even fight. Is he conceding that I already won? No. There can be no victory in this doing combat. Human logic negates it. <laughs> you misunderstand. I came for a rematch. It's just that you are not a worthy opponent. <gasps> what? Unworthy? 
Tong Xiao, as general of the Law Fu, was commander-in-chief of the Cloud Knights. Ignamar commanded the Heliobai. The two were as great as the sky and the earth, equally matched like yin and yang. It is only natural that they were worthy opponents. As it stands, I am the general of the Law Fu. But you are no Ignamar, merely a prisoner. If you wish to engage me in battle, you must follow my rules. Defeat my army. Only then will I grant you the fight you seek. Uh, your army? <laughs> That's right. You must defeat my four companions gathered here. Then, you will have proved yourself a worthy opponent. Wait! He means us? We'll be okay, right? That's right. For us, any problem that can be solved by force isn't a problem at all. <laughs> so I only need to beat your pawns here. <laughs> it would serve you well not to underestimate them. They are as skilled in combat as they are tenacious in spirit. I worry they might pose a problem for you. If you win, you can have your rematch. If you lose, you will answer one question of their choice. No lies, no tricks. Can you accept these terms? Mm. It's a deal. The game is set. This platform will be our chessboard, and the fires will be the pieces! Still deny your They're clear as day. I shall judge you for the Ten Lords. <laughs> Wanna see Lance 
the blaze! to go on the offensive. Serious this is. I shall judge you for the Ten Lords. By the will of the Ten Lords. The Ten Lords decree. Hereby ordained. I'm on guard. Mars power, I'd never have lost to the likes of you. <laughs> Should you decide to try again, my offer still stands. But you must defeat them. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Uh, not so fast. Before we fight again, you need to answer one question like you promised. What's your question? L look is this something a Heliobus could have done? There are countless Heliobi that escaped from the creation furnace. And every one of them could have done such a thing. It could have been vengeance, curiosity, or simply hunger. So how would I know which one abducted your dragon lady? Of course... I do have my suspicions. For example... Luxie. Luxie loves mischief. They give no thought to interfering in mortal affairs. Their only concern... ...entainment and freedom. Among all the fragments of Ignamar, <laughs> the one most likely to abduct your precious dragon lady, sailed away for a thousand years. It's been ages since we last tasted the joys and sorrows of the world of humans. I'm sure Luxie was eager to find a new friend and wander the world with them. Hmm, I think they're telling the truth. Heliobi do have different personalities, 
and they can be influenced by the personality of their host. If a Helio warrior, they might gradually take on a braver, fiercer persona. And if their host is a playful child, they may adopt a childlike spirit. Hmm. Wander the world with them. It sounds like Lady Bailu would have been an ideal target. She's always running off to play in Arm Alley. Mm hmm. This entail should be a big help. Hey! We're not done here! You still owe me a fight! You bunch of meatbags! What minor victory, and you think you're something special? Come on! Show me what you've got! In the same direction now. It would be wise to strike while the iron is hot. Thank you for your help, General. Let's get going.